Okay, 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 okay. I give it to you. Some of them videos are good, but what about the paint bucket? What about it? Do you want me to show you some tips? Today we're gonna learn about the paint bucket and Sketchable app. This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM. That's me. I'm a 2D illustrator, and today I'm gonna walk you through the Paint Bucket tool in Sketchable app. Let's get started by opening Sketchable app, available from the Microsoft Store and all Windows 10 devices. Boom, there we go, yes. Voila. All right, let's get into our drawing and explore the paint bucket. Now, the part of, that I love about the paint bucket is that when you're sitting here drawing and working on uh, coloring a drawing, the paint bucket makes it really easy to work with. So let's go ahead and get this blue. Let's fix that blue. Go right here, bam, yeah, 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 a little darker, nice. And now I'm gonna go ahead and draw here. Uh, make that a little bit smaller tighter and of course 100% boom so now that I am outlining this area here and did I make a new layer I think I did not I got excited about the oh yes I did huh look at that Oof. I get excited about drawing I'm just ready to jump on in okay nice there we go Hmm. Nice. Good job. Boom. Now, I don't want to sit here and, and color all this in like this. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. What if I just get the paint bucket? There it is. It's right here. It's activated. And I can just click. Boom. Look at that. Now, there are some empty spots, right? If I click it again, I go ahead and get those uh, spots covered. But what if I find the adjustments? Here we go, opacity tolerance, opacity, let's go keep that, make that tolerance higher, and then let's see what happens. Boom, I still get. So let me take that up, let me take that a little higher, and let me try that again. Oh, it went too far. <laughs> oh yeah, so there we go. Okay, there we go, there we go. Let's see, try that. Boom, so now I get a little bit of extra pieces that need to get filled in. And that's too much. <laughs> oh yeah, this is fun, this is cool. I do like the paint bucket in the way that it handles uh, filling in. Anti-aliasing, let me turn that off because then it would get little, very rough, yes. Then you end up with that. So there's a couple of edits that you can do to work on your paint bucket. The part that I like to do is that once I go ahead and fill it in, then I can come in and just adjust, make some adjustments. And of course, my coloring in was not perfect, so I still gotta fix some of that. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and twist that, fix that right there. Oops, that was the wrong brush here we go boom done boom done mm -hmm. and there it's filled in and now I can keep working through the rest of my drawing most of the time I do my outline first and then I bring the paint bucket in. but let's go ahead and uh, fix some of this the tolerance is low Capacity tolerance, boom, here we go. Knock it out. What about if I do that again? It's not filling all the way through, so let me go ahead and check on this. And, uh, and uh, when it comes to these brushes, they all have a blur on the edge. And I think that what I did with the bucket settings, it's uh, causing this to not work as good as I want it to. Oh, I need more tolerance. That's what it is. I need more, more, and more. And let's try that. Boom, it's getting closer. It's getting better. 
Yep, but I'll still go ahead and grab this. Boom, done, filled it in. Oh yeah, as a matter of fact, I messed that up. This is the wrong color, because this is the blue color. Now I can go ahead and start filling in some of this. Bang. Paint bucket. Boom. Let's give my brush to tighten some of these pieces out. Love it. There we go. Yeah, it saves me a little bit of time, and I like that. You know, I still want to do a lot of the coloring in myself, but it's helpful to just have a tool that go ahead and adds in the extra color in some of those areas. There you have it, the paint bucket tool. Use it, try it, see what you like about it, hmm. and fill in the little gaps. That's what I do, fill out the gaps. <laughs> oh yeah, let me try the brown. Let's put some gold in here. This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM, and I hope that today's tips are helpful in expanding your digital drawing creativity. Please like, share, and subscribe to get more sketchable insights. Until next time. I'm gonna keep on drawing.